My wife and I, we do a lot of cycling. In the winter months, when it's really nasty outside, we can't ride outside. We ride inside on the trainer using Zwift. We've been swapping bikes back and forth on the trainer. So when I ride, my bike is in here. And when she rides, it's her bike. But that's getting to be really cumbersome. So for Christmas, we bought ourselves a Zwift bike. What we liked about it is that it's adjustable and we can use one bike for both of us. The only downside that we've run into with this bike, despite it being really well designed and really adjustable, is that the saddle setback is fixed. Not only is it fixed, but it's pretty far back. It's pretty aggressive. So for me, it's perfectly fine. But for my wife, who's quite a bit shorter than I am, it's a little too far back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to modify the seat post to give it adjustable setback. I'm going to use a milling machine in the video. I recognize that most people don't have one of those. So my intent or my hope with this video is to give you one idea or show you one way to do this. If you do have the equipment, I've given you all the information you need to copy this idea. If you don't, hopefully I've given you enough information that you can take it to a machine shop and ask them to do it for you. So if you're interested in adjustable setback in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. So here's what I did to add adjustable setback to the Zwift bike seat post. So I pulled the seat post apart and I pulled the top off. This is just one big piece of cast aluminum which is great, so there's lots of opportunity for machining. I put it in the bandsaw and I cut it apart. So I cut it into two halves. I then took it over to the mill, I flattened it out and I cut a slot. So now when the two halves are put back together, We've got some adjustability or some movement front to back. The slot though holds alignment in every other direction. Then to hold it back together, I wanted to bolt it. So I drilled it out and I cut a countersink so that a bolt would fit down through. In the base, I cut a slot so the bolt would fit through and then I cut a wider slot at the bottom that would hold the nut. So this was a flange nut. I took it and I milled the sides off so it would fit in this slot here. So we've got the nut in there and now as that moves back or forth, that nut moves with it. Once that's done, it slides back together and the bolt goes in. And then to lock it down, we just tighten that bolt. So now I've got a seat post that's got about 10 millimeters additional setback or 20 millimeters further towards the handlebar. I really don't know why Zwift didn't do this. It wasn't particularly difficult. And the Zwift bike has some pretty aggressive setback already. So adding a little bit of adjustability is really beneficial. I did end up removing about eight millimeters worth of material from the seat post. So that effectively lowered the saddle by eight millimeters. To account for that, when you put the post back in, you'll have to raise it up by about a letter. I realize most of you don't have the equipment to do what I did in this video. I'm hoping though that by showing you the process and showing you what I did, you'll be inspired to come up with a way to do something similar using the equipment you do have. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.